It looks like Speaker Mike Johnson is taking a page out of Trump's playbook and inviting victims of Biden's border crisis to this week's State of the Union. Welcome to Nurk News, I'm Nurkish. Today we're going to take a few minutes to break down this story from the New York Post. House Speaker Mike Johnson and two New York reps are inviting the police officers who were attacked by a migrant mob near Times Square back in January to President Joe Biden's State of the Union address. Now, as I'm sure you're aware, Border security has been a huge issue lately, and it's a weak point for Democrats, so this story has gotten a lot of attention. But if you don't know, in January, two New York police officers were attacked by a group of migrants that were apprehended and then released on bail, despite having pending charges for larceny and assault. I'm sure you've seen the photos of them flipping off reporters as they were being released. They went pretty viral, and are the last photos we have of them, because they immediately caught a bus and fled NYC after to go to who knows where. Here's Mike Johnson. Sanctuary cities have endangered American citizens across the country. Brave law enforcement officers like these should never be victims of the senseless crimes these policies encourage. Well, like I said before, this is a pretty big story, and I think it's a turning point for a lot of people. I mean, this NYC attack even had liberals up in arms. Al Sharpton condemned it on air and even said it was due to an invasion. Trump derangement syndrome celebs like Michael Rappaport have said it was the last straw for them, and now they would even consider voting Trump as a result. Uh, you know, Biden is really in a corner here, and his little trip to Brownsville, Texas, didn't really do much to help. I mean, he's blabbing somewhere in an air-conditioned building, while Trump's at Eagle Pass smiling and waving at Mexicans on the other side of the fence. Uh, the Border Patrol Union even posted this after his visit. Board Air Force One, take nap. Wake up in place called Brownsville. Read large teleprompter message. It's all Trump's fault. Board Air Force One. Ask who people in green uniforms were. Told they strap illegal aliens. Express horror. Take nap. Wake up, call a lid, hit beach, take nap. Um, that doesn't sound like a great endorsement to me. Uh, you know, Biden was so desperate on this thing, he even asked Trump to work with him to help lobby Congress on the immigration bill. Obviously, Trump wasn't having it, and neither were Mike Johnson or Republicans in Congress who spoke the other day criticizing his visit. This is only his second visit in three years. With everything going on, as bad as it is, as the statistics are as horrible, catastrophic as they are, the effects in every community... He's only seen fit to go twice, and he's going for a photo op, as you said, to Brownsville, which is the 29th ranked hotspot on the border. Why would he go to the 29th ranked hotspot? Because he doesn't really want to see the reality. We tried to explain it to him. The National Border Patrol Council themselves called President Biden's visit, quote, too little, too late. I think that's an understatement. One president was building a wall. President Trump, he was cracking down on those trying to cross the border illegally. He was supporting our... CBP agents, he used his executive authority to stop illegal immigration. And the current president, Biden, he's doing exactly the opposite of all those things. He stopped construction on the wall. He halted deportations. He ceded operational control to the cartels and the traffickers. And he did everything he could to incentivize, incentivize illegal immigration. Now, I'm not going to pretend that Congress hasn't invited guests to send a message to the president or the nation as a whole in the past, but this almost feels like a Trump-level troll from Mike Johnson here. I mean, you remember when he invited Bill Clinton's accusers to the debate he had with Hillary? Republicans know they have the high ground here. Democrats have nothing to offer. The American people are souring on this, and it only gets worse with each new case, and they know it. So call me crazy, but it looks like the new progressive term newcomers for these people might not take off the way Democrats had planned. But let me know what you think. Will Republicans cave to Democrats and their guilt trips about history judging them? Can we actually turn this around and get something done at the border? Let me know in the comments, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. That stuff really does help us out. Until then, this has been Nurk News. Thanks for watching. Bye!